All right, welcome back, guys. Got my uh, finally got the muffler hangers in, so I can well the muffler pipe hanger, a midsection hanger, the little rubber uh, hangers. But um, yeah, I'm gonna put this muffler pipe back on, replace the hangers for the muffler, actual muffler. So just a comparison. This is the old one. This is the new one. This should hold the pipe a little higher, I would think. About that much higher. <laughs> These are, what, 26 years old? So, to the month. This was a May 1997 production car. So, to the month, 26 years old. <sighs> yep, they need it changed. I bought the, I bought the Febby brand. I don't know. I mean, it wasn't the OE brand. This thing says made in India, so I don't know if the rubber is going to be as good as the genuine BMW. But it should do better initially. And then while we're under here, I'm going to do the trans fluid, the, the manual trans fluid, change that out. And I'll see if I have enough gear oil on hand i might change that also but i gotta make sure it's the right kind um so i have to go research that a little bit but yep let's get to it okay here's the muffler hangers um i bought this <laughs> a long time ago and never got the chance to put it on but i bought these rev shift made in usa who knows if that makes it any better or not but uh, I bought these one with the inserts because I know my exhaust kind of flops around a lot and and it's probably because of the worn out ones like this that didn't help. So I was thinking maybe I put the inserts in. Now I'm thinking it might be too much for it. This thing kind of like spreads these legs. It's going to make it hard to install, but we'll see. We'll try it out. Um, getting this insert to go in is pretty tough you got to use if you ever put on polyurethane bushings you know they give you the the super sticky silicone lube i guess it's what it is i can't even get it off my hands putting this one on so i guess it's supposed to help with insulation and potential squeaking but if you ever had polyurethane bushings on your car you'd know that the squeaking is inevitable but the good thing is this is just it's kind of static. It's not, you know, a dynamic bushing or anything like that. Unlike a suspension bushing that needs that lubricant. So we'll give it a try and uh, we'll see if that works. Oh, by the way, repainted the intake plenum with flat to try it out. And sure enough, it came out exactly what I wanted it to, to, to look like. It has you know, a slight sheen. I was afraid it was just going to look like, like a barbecue, uh, inside of a barbecue, but it has enough sheen to make it look original again. And that's perfect. The satin was semi-gloss. <laughs> they shouldn't even sell that stuff. I bought the, I bought this stuff with the five in one protective enamel and it came out cherry. I like it. So, um, I also got the red silicone o-rings for this or these i'm going to test fit one of the tubes to the to the actual engine um intake the throttle body sorry and we'll see if it if it has to push on those this is the three mil so we'll see if um how much it actually has to sandwich this before it'll seat properly if it feels like there's just too much tension on it because this is plastic i don't want to create too much uh you know tension on these ears to where they'll just break if they get too hot maybe or something you know these things are old already so i don't want to stress them out as more than they have to be um so yeah let's get started with this and uh i'm still waiting for parts uh, uh intake hoses on the engine side that are cracks um before I can put this thing back, so I kind of on hold with that. So let's just do the muffler for now.
Okay, so while you're hanging out sitting on my uh, intake plan, I'm gonna... I should probably put gloves on. I can't get this stuff off of my hands. I got, I'm got. i shooting with pure alcohol and it's still not coming off. I mean, it does a little bit, but it's still there. <laughs> so I'll put gloves on for this this time and not be lazy. Okay, first thing, first thing gotta do, get the goop, goop it up. I tried to put this in without putting this stuff on and it's literally impossible. I also see how this is kind of like canted in, these two, these two legs are kind of like going inward. You're never going to get these inserts in with that, so just spread them out slightly. I, would, I did this one. A little too much and I think I'm gonna have a problem putting it back now because now the holes are misaligned. Uh, it was a bad idea to start to use these inserts anyways but screw it let's just try it I have them. I don't know I can always take them out if it makes it tough. So it came with um, one pack of goop, each insert, but I didn't have to use all of it on the first one. This stuff is this stuff goes a long way. I saved the other stuff for uh, something else. Hey <laughs> you guys. Okay, let's, let's try this again. It goes this way. Yeah, this I might have to spread out a little more again, but we'll see. <sighs> no, nope. spread it, kook. Don't, don't spread it more than you have to because you never, it's going to make it hard to put on. And I know this, man. Oh. <sighs> I'm gonna go a little more. I already know this is going to be hard to even install back on the car now that I'm spreading these legs out and the holes aren't going to be aligned. Uh, this is probably some oh, dumb racer mod that I was thinking I was going to do. <laughs> but now that I'm older, I really don't care about racer mods. I just want to make it. I want to try to recapture the experience of what it's like for it to be new again, you know. I'm on that trip of my life now, officially old, grown up, whatever you want to call it. I don't care about the racer mods anymore. But if this helps, then I guess that's good. Make it last a little longer. Okay. You see how this is all spread out now? I'm going to stick it in my vise real quick. Try to close this up. I just sandwiched it super tight. Nope. I don't think it'll... It didn't really help. But we'll see. We'll give it a try. Okay, first line of business. You gotta get the 
muffler hangers out. See them? There's one. And there's the other one. Pretty tight, but a universal and a long extension should do. And try not to give you guys the crotch crop shot like I was last time that I had the crop out. That took a lot of time to edit. <laughs> it was like up short action, but ugh, my bad. Like I said, I'm still a rookie at this stuff, man. Okay, got some tools. And as smart as I am, I only brought one socket because I'm going to guess it's a 13. <laughs> Uh, we'll see. Ah. Uncle was right. Uncle was right. Ah. That's what they call the old people in Hawaii. <laughs> And from what I hear and understand, I'm officially an uncle. Uncle status, man, made it. That's one. That's one accomplishment in Hawaii life. Okay. No. I'm gonna embarrass myself probably right here. So, hang on. Why isn't this thing coming down? It's stuck. <sighs> Thankfully, this exhaust weighs a lot less than the stock one, from what I remember. Use my head. Come on, baby. Name. Oh. There goes my mic. Bought these cheap Bluetooth mics off Amazon. And while they sound, they seem to sound okay, they have only like one clip position, so there's not much uh, places to put it that make it fit properly, but that works for me. Okay, let's get these hangers off. Oh yeah, see this side is broke. Watch. That's not supposed to happen. Okay, so I knew that was there for years and I never did anything about it. And the thing has kind of been rattling away. So I do everything to make the car work properly right before I want to sell it. Ironically, I'd rather drive it around all hammer jang, all loosey goosey, yeah. instead of just. Making it cherry for myself, <laughs> not making it cherry for someone else. Okay, we can get the new hangers installed and we'll see if we can get this stuff lined up and put back on. I don't know if it's gonna happen or not. We're gonna try. Okay, we're working on the ground. Um, I'm sitting on a stool, trying to not give you guys a bad angle. <laughs> so I'm gonna work from the side here. What number am I on? How much power? We'll see. I don't know. I'm gonna have to break this loose first. Oh, that side came off easy. Let's try this side. This side didn't spudge earlier. But I didn't have a wrench, so. Oh, yeah. The wrench makes all the difference in the world. Okay. Yeah. When that 
comes out. She done. She's done. All right. <laughs> so you can see how these are offset, the, the holes. And I completely was like, oh, shoot. Rookie mistake again. Forgot what side they went. So I had to review the footage. But thankfully, I'm filming this because I would have been like super irritated with myself if not. So it's kind of offset. The hole go, goes towards the front of the car. Or on the aft side of the muffler. Whatever you prefer to call it. Whichever way you... Whatever way you go, man. Whichever way you go. Okay. So that's one. I was wondering, maybe I should have left that loose a little so it can kind of pivot, but uh, I guess we'll have to deal with it later. It's not that big of a deal, though. I mean, you can always just loosen it up. Get it as straight as possible. Came at six nuts, two bolts. So let's change this for the new guy. These bolts and nuts are cadmium plated while these are, I don't know, silver coated. I don't know what kind of coating that actually is, but it's the new style, man. The new style. Oh, yeah, these are cadmium plated and they did pretty good. They, you know, like I said, 26 years. Um, in Hawaii, it's not, I mean, in Hawaii, it's known for being salty because of the salty air, but that depends on what side of the island you live on and, and the weather. If the weather is like on shore or whatever, and you live close to the ocean, which I do. So, I mean, normally we don't get onshore winds, but... It does happen from time to time. And so that's why on this car there is quite a bit of surface for us. But nothing like the guys experience in the mainland with salted roads, you know. So thankfully we don't have to deal with that here. But I mean, you leave it out long enough, it's going to rust. I guarantee it. Rains a lot here, not particularly where I live, but like I said, depending on what side of the island you live on. Some sides are wetter than others. Okay. You know what? I'm just going to clean this exhaust up real quick. Exhaust is pretty dirty. I'll just give it a quick clean. A one over. Just for good measure for the guy who's gonna buy this. Make him cherry as I can. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention um Obsessed Garage Matt. That guy's inspiring for me too. I've been watching him for well since probably since twenty sixteen when I was building my garage and <laughs> and of course his uh garage his obsessed garage channel like caught my eye because I was like trying to figure out garage setups and stuff like that. But on his channel, he had somebody show him how to clean stainless steel with Ospo and steel wool, both of which I usually keep on hand. So we're going to try this out for the first time. I always meant to try this. Just blow off the crap first. Start back here. Put 
I'm on the steel wool. This is four out steel wool. I mean, I know steel wool is going to make this thing look cherry as is, but the Osco brightens it for some reason, supposedly. I don't like the smell of Ospo. It smells weird. <laughs> kind of smells like a dirty diaper. <laughs> uh, and I only, I'm only saying that because I've got a 10 month old that makes a lot of dirty diapers and depending on what she eats, man, it just kind of smells like some of them. You know what? It's not working out as well as I thought it would for me, but whatever. The steel wool, you can't go wrong with just the steel wool alone anyways. And it looks Yeah, when I bought this muffler, I didn't care for like the bling, the shininess of the muffler. I didn't want everyone to know that I had this aftermarket muffler. So I sprayed it black on the parts that were exposed. Of course, now that black is all starting to come off. It's got a cool shape, yeah? It's like a Star Wars action. Polish the tips. Okay, so the steel wool alone is having a hard time removing this varnish here. Between the pipe and the muffler, I'm gonna try see if um, if the stu if the Ospo can help that. I want you guys to kind of see this if you can without looking at my shorts. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ospo on the steel wool again. <laughs> It does work. Believe that? I was rubbing that with steel wool. And like kind of scrubbing it on honestly and it's yeah, it literally just melts it off. So it does work. Ah, uh, that's pretty cool, man. Yeah, trippy. Ospo. It takes off like the varnish stuff. I love it when you find a product that can just melt away things. <laughs> it's like when you're detailing cars and you have cars that have tons of water spots on their rims and this type of caked on varnish type contamination and you use a, a an acid, acidic wheel cleaner and the way that those products just melt away those 
those deposits and clean the wheel. I, that's so satisfying to me. Granted, I mean, you probably don't want to be using them all the time if it's not necessary. You know, you want to always go with the least aggressive method. So, to start, you know, that's the detailing. Um, that's a standard in detailing. You'd always want to try the, the lesser aggressive method if you can get away with it without wasting a ton of time. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I like it. It does work. It has its it has its uh it has its place, this Ospo and steel wool. It's not gonna get you a hundred percent but it takes off that stubborn varnish look looking uh film, road film, whatever it is. Yeah, look at that. This was completely like dirty. And it didn't take very long. Let's try this <clears throat> real quick. I don't want to waste too much time on this. This. <laughs> Not the concrete, this. <laughs> Set you up on the muffler. You get down the line. Down the line angle. Oh yeah, bro. Oh, wow. Oh, bro. Somebody's gonna. This is pretty impressive how it takes that varnish away. But you see like these tougher spots, it's not gonna it's not gonna fix that. This is that's rust. Even though it's just stainless, there's still a tad bit of um iron in these materials. I mean granted. So it makes them strong probably. But you can't expect expect it to be perfect this is like 304 stainless from what I understand and that's you know it's good but it's there's higher grades less iron inside um, I keep forgetting that I gotta keep looking at what I'm trying to show you so I can so I'm not just filming the ground <laughs> Ah, uh, that's pretty mean. I mean, I enjoyed that. I like it when products do that, or someone finds someone finds some kind of nice solution to using a product. What is commonly known as off-label use <clears throat> so I got more content with the different series of stuff that will be coming with this <laughs> that's all I can show you for now that's all I want to show you for now the car has uh, got a lot of work to do but I want I want to take you guys on the journey with me of getting it to where I want it to be. So that'll be fun. Just more videos to make, which I am starting to really enjoy. So okay, so let me get this muffler back in place and let's try to hang it without getting hurt. Okay, so what we have here is our helping hands stool with a vacuum cleaner attachment bin. 
any kind, you know the kind. You make any kind out of that. But watch. Uncle been doing this 40 years. Yeah. He's only been alive for 43, so. 43 in November. More per more exact. Damn, can't get you guys the right angle, man. How's that? Let's just try it. Oh, even though I got this lift, man, this is it still hurts my back. It's better than laying on your back. Oh, bruh. It might be better to lay on my back. I could use a jack. Feeling this is gonna happen. Ah. <laughs> Fail. Come here, Jack. I can get the nut on with that. Can? Yes, uh, yes, a blesser. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, maybe I should have left these um top pieces loose to start. I can get in here with a wrench and tighten them up later. That'll be, yeah, let's just do it like that. I can roast, oh, bruh, see? Well, I told you Uncle been doing this for 40 years. Hang on, take that back. Let Uncle loosen this one first, and then I'll go tell you if that's true or not. Once I get them all on, then I'll tell you Uncle been doing this a long time. Oh. Okay, so this is what I was worried about. Where am where am I? This uh This nut, this stud hanging up. It's not lining up. So, we're going to have to persuade that one. For sure. For sure, Ba. Bro, I don't know why, but it always gets like, like, the temperature always goes up. 
10 degrees when I start working on cars. <laughs> what is that phenomenon called? <laughs> Self-induced heat. I should put wood under the exhaust before I do this. Two by. And none of this stuff is connected to each other, so I'm looking for a full on fail moment anytime now. Yeah, we gotta watch the angle of the fandango, bro. Reject my Harbor Freight Jack is. The kind. No good already. What happened? Supposed to compete with Snap On. It's a difference. Snap on, not gonna give up on you five years later. <laughs> See if my Craig jig clamp can is enough. Maybe might be in the way though. I wanna get out of travel on this jack, like Last inch. Three tons, no way. Ah, right there. Use the Craig jig clamp. Clamp the sides of that bracket and pull it. Pull it. Pull it. Like you're freaking having a drink. Uh, but you got to thread it on my finger. <laughs> oh. Don't whack yourself in the head in the process because that goop is on there. Gotta get one thread. Come on. Come on. Got him. Oh. Okay, I think I got it. Oh, bruh, this is harder than I thought. Okay, one side down. Okay, this one on the back side is already in. I just need to get the nut on it. Do the classic. Reach around. And there is the nut. Doesn't like the maneuver. I need a beer, man. That's probably the reason why I'm having so much trouble with this. I need to relax, you know. I uh, can't even get my arm in here. How did I... Oh, bro, I got the skinniest arms too, and I can't even get my arm in here. Or a socket, for that matter. 
I don't I don't know if this this is a fat ass universal impact universal. I don't know if that'll fit in there. Let's see. I'm gonna have to slide into its DM like that. Can I'm gonna put the nut on first so it's like a series of events. So you gotta load it, slide it, and then find it. And it probably don't even have the right angle. Nope. I'm all like cockeyed because I only got one eye on it and the other eye is looking at something else. Okay. So can I get this up in here? Up in here? Nope. Ah, oh, no, nah, no, nah, I got this stuff too. Oh, bro. Oh, bro. Gotta come in behind. Reach around. Action again. Ooh. ooh, ooh. Can. Let me show you <laughs> quickly. See, I have to clamp like that, and then I go like this. But it worked on the other side. I could, like, push it you know, push it this way and it would force that. See? Can't get that angle. Can't get the action. See, this thing is all gooped up too on the outside and so this clamp is totally slipping. So, it's not providing me any grip. Uh, who would have thought woodworking tools for fixed cars? I mean, I I know it happens all the time, but you know, guys bust out their their fourteen ounce stiletto framing hammer. <laughs> you know how I know? Because I got one. A good hammer. Bash my finger with it about 200 times building this garage. It's light, but it hits like a heavyweight. And your finger knows it. Well, my finger does. I think I lost a nail over one hit. The one hit wonder. Uh, okay. A popular 1x4. Not popular, but popular 1x4. Yep. With the cockroach egg action. Cockroach egg action. Oh yeah, bro, right there. Just got a just got out of kind. Just got out of kind, bro. Just got out of kind, you know the kind. You guys are fired. You guys barely did anything. Not you guys, but this stool and this tub for trying to hold that muffler up. Yeah, and you know that guy, Mr. Poplar. That's all he's good at is being Poplar. No help. 
But AC try to just put these hangers on first. Am I doing this backwards? Should I put the hanger on the pipe? I mean the car first? I don't know. It's usually whatever is easiest for you. And I don't know what's easiest for me right now because I hardly ever, I never, you know, hardly do this. Shoot, I don't know. But it seems like this might be the easier way. But I can't even see what I'm doing here. You guys are laughing at me. I know it. It's fine. <laughs> I don't care. Okay, I'm not going to hang it on the one with the flexi pipe because that flex pipe already has a small hole in it and I'm going to have to, God knows, trying to find a flex pipe to fit this thing is next to impossible without changing the whole header. Somebody could weld one in properly if they have the resources for that but I don't so it's probably gonna have to be like muffler cement wrapped with some tape and believe it or not that's probably gonna last a very long time Man, like I said, it gets hot in here every time I start working on cars. It's like a natural phenomenon. When am I gonna wait? I'm just gonna put these gaskets in now. What's the point in waiting? Let me try to get everything lined up a little better, but no. I'm doing now. Just need to get one in. I'm going to be able to, I don't want this point, point sticking down, I want it flat. It's in the details, the devil. Oh. the dill donut in get that donut to stay in there as I do. I gotta put this one together first because it has the loose donut versus this one which has like that welded on version. Yep, how's that dexterity? Holding the gasket, holding the wrench, holding my socket, whatever, brah. I'm telling you. I was made for this. This life.
maybe not necessarily beamer life, but some kind of mechanic life. But oh, maybe uh, it's a sign because I like airplanes and the beamer logo. You guys all know about that, right? So maybe it's just cool, you know, my calling to be into both naturally. I'm sure if you guys are watching this, you're into BMWs. But if you're not, and you're uh, just looking for some some dry entertainment, <laughs> the BMW logo supposedly is a propeller in motion behind the sky. So that's that's pretty cool because they were a airplane manufacturer or a engine manufacturer for airplanes in the early days. For the fear. Ah, oh, I should be using my ratchet for this. What am I doing? My electric ratchet. get on it it's too tight let's go see the alignment back here real quick oh bruh it's like almost perfect but i'm not going to even argue about that because it's a hell of a lot better than it was and the exhaust is super stiff perfect it was just flopping around that earlier Somebody call vanilla ice. Boom. One problem solved. Okay, I need to reposition this because I can't get to the top. Wondering what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. I want this to be as flat as possible. I don't want nothing hanging down because this car is kind of low already. See, that's the problem. Quarter to the 3 8 adapter. The 3 8 extension to uh and booyah and booyah watch me break my tools over this oh booyah i, I took the nut off <laughs> how many rookie mistakes can you make in one day by the way those are lock nuts and as i mentioned before in my other vids if you didn't uh hear me jibber jabber about that you can't thread it on by with your fingers, it's so good. Okay, so we're gonna go back and forth on these. Oh yeah. One more time for the top. And then I'll snug them with by hand because this uh, high speed ratchet doesn't provide much torque.
that's pretty much all. Um, like I can type, start tightening all this down already because it's. Oh, that's not straight. Shoot, loosen it again. It's gotta be straight. Do it. Try to do it as right as possible here. Oh yeah, I see how it pulls it up. It's actually what I would prefer. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't see anything I'm doing this whole time. Oh, I mean, I still can't, but I'm just trying to get an even gap on these flanges here. together let's try some WD on this one close but it's not going to rattle enough to make it touch so, nine sixteenths let's give it a shot no nope. when I cinch it up it touches No, I'm just going to leave it there and if I hear it rattling, I'll come back to it. Let me cinch this up slightly. Like that. Uh, see, that wasn't too bad. If I do the top one now, then it probably will keep it off of this heat shield. Foil heat shields there. You can just bend them if you need to. And you know what? Well, you shouldn't. It's not that big of a deal, and everybody knows it. Yeah, I know they provide a little air pocket between the. That's the whole point of the heat shield. But this is a very small uh, section. It's fine. Yeah, this exhaust is super solid. No, this thing was wobbling everywhere earlier. Okay, this is my one and only gripe with snap on ratchets is that I can't pull anything off of them without a screwdriver when I have oily hands or gloves. 
You gotta have your flathead handy for that specific reason if you're using snap on ratchets. Now the <laughs> now the flexi pipe on this thing. Those are the original flanges that none of the US model stuff would bolt up to. So I had the exhaust shop just welded in this section, put the three bolt flange on, and you can see that it's not ideal. But it's been working ever since 2003. So it looks good. It's in line. You can see. It barely wobbles. It would flop around earlier. And the main part is that is centered. And, and he got a new race car. <laughs> yeah, the one I showed you earlier. So stay tuned for that. That'll be fun. And... I'm going to call it a day on this. That's the exhaust system. Flex this installed underneath. Now I can get the car off the lift. Uh, I meant to do the oil, but I didn't have time. That exhaust gave me a lot more problems than I expected. So um, I don't think you guys really need to see me film that. I'm sure you can find that all over YouTube. But you know what? Maybe I should because whoever is buying this thing might want to see me do it. So I'll just make a quick one out of that. And because that's no big, it's just standard maintenance. But until the next bid, appreciate you guys hanging out with me in the garage again. Um, it's my turn to go, oh, go open a beer. <laughs> Been waiting all day. Yeah. Okay. Peace out. Shoots.